Hi, this is Eric Cantrell from Barco's Media Lawn Show Control Division, and we're going to be covering how to communicate between uh, Media Lawn Manager or Media Lawn Show Control Systems and Touch Designer. Um, so here on my Mac, I'm doing this all on one machine, but I got a virtual machine running Media Lawn Manager just to show that this is two different machines, but one screen recording, so it's all happening within the same uh, screen real estate. So first thing we got to do is set up Touch Designer. So I'm going to have a uh, a chop for an OSC out node. I'm going to set that up, and we got to tell it where to send the data to. Uh, we're going to go ahead and set this up to send to Manager, which is one nine two one six eight one dot one point one. So one nine two one six eight one dot one two one. And we're going to send it to port 5432. Okay. Uh, we don't want this to cook every frame because we don't want to use the time slice. Otherwise, it's going to send so much information that it's just impossible to deal with. So we're going to shut off uh, where it says cook every frame and shut off where it says send events on every cook. Uh, because we really only want it to update each time the sample changes. Uh, float is what we'll use, but we could use an integer here, but in this case we'll use a float. Uh, and that defines the way that the data gets sent to manager. Um, so now we, may ha we need to have some data to send. So in our example here, we're just going to go ahead and add some noise so that we just have random data happening. So noise is here. So I have one of those. Change some parameters so it slows down a little bit. Uh, and I'm just going to copy and paste that so we have two different channels of noise that are generating a little bit differently. Uh, and I'm, now we only have one input here on the OSC output, but I've got two uh, pieces of information that are feeding into that OSC. So I need to merge that information together. So we'll create a merge here. I'll just tie those together. So now we create one object with multiple values in that. I don't want to use Chan1 and Chan2. I might want to use more uh, more useful names for these uh, for these channels. So maybe it's mic input one and mic input two or whatever. Um, the way that you do that is through a rename node. So we'll go ahead and create the rename node and we pump the values into the top but I got to give it names, so those names come in through a constant down here. I'm just going to call that uh, mic1, call that mic2, and we dump that constant into the rename node. And now you'll see that the names have updated. We have mic1, mic2. Now when we pump those into the OSC, now I have a mic 1 and a mic 2, and the values are changing because of the noise. The noise is pumping the values into the combiner, or into the merge, which then gets renamed and then gets sent to the OSC output. In the manager side, let me just delete this, uh, this device. Uh, so then we create a new device. It's uh, Medialon OSC MXM. We're going to tell it how to receive that information. So we use port 5432 as our uh, as our sending port from Touch Designer. So then in Manager, we have to receive on 5432. And then later, we're going to be sending data back to Touch Designer. So we'll use 5433 for that. And we're going to send that to which is 192.168.1.111. All right, so we've got our communication parameters set up here. Now we need to set up the methods. Methods are those names here. So that mic1 and mic2, mic1, mic1. We're going to go ahead and add another method for mic2. Mic2. Now we have the, the methods defined, but we don't actually have the values tied to any variables in the system yet. So we're going to go ahead and create a new parameter that gets associated with the, uh, with the value. So create a new parameter. We'll just call that value. And it's going to be 
a real because it's a floating point number over here. Uh, and it is the first value that's associated with that mic1 method. So we do the same thing here under mic2, create a new parameter. I'm going to call that one value as well. Make that also a real. That is the first one. So now we have values, which are our variables that are coming into manager that are associated with those methods mic1 and mic2. And click OK. So now we have our device. If we look at the variables of that device, we'll see I have a mic1 value and a mic2 value. If we go into debug mode, those values are changing because it's being received from what the OSC output is sending. So now we need to send data back into uh, Touch Designer. So we're going to need a uh, an OSC in, and we set up the parameters the same way. So we're doing the UDP, and it's five four three three. Okay. So now nothing is happening over here because we're not actually sending any data back that way. So we have to tell manager to send some data. Uh, so then when we send back an OSC address, we always have to start with a slash. Um, so I'm going to send back something for like feedback test. And we're going to give it a value of 12. And we're going to make that an int. So when I send that over, you see feedback test has the value 12. So if I change that here, we make that 4, send it again, boop, 4 updates on that. So now if any other OSC message comes in, it's going to create new additional received values in Touch Designer. Send that over, and this is actually only receiving um, strings, so that didn't work. But uh, let's go ahead and set that or integer. Set this two, three. So now I have hello world is showing me three. So we have bidirectional communication here. Now I was using noise, but that was just to show that it could be any data that's coming into the system. So let's get rid of that and we'll replace that with buttons. So go in here, create a comp button. Oop. Let's wire that up to our merger. Do the same thing down here, another button. Wire that up to our merger. And now if I activate these buttons come back into manager and look at the variables here. And when I activate the button, you'll see that the mic1 value changed to 1. Mic2 value changes to 1. So this is how you would show, uh, or this is how you would have buttons or activities, Boolean events in Touch Designer triggering variable values to update in manager. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, please give me a call or shoot me an email. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.